Hey guys, how's it going? This is the Trains with Shane YouTube channel. My name is Shane. And what we've got here is a custom paint showcase video. It's not going to be a will it run because I bought this unit new, so it should run. But you'll notice that say that this was a CSX unit, SD70. That's not what's in our box. Shane, what's going on? Well, longtime followers of the channel, and maybe even those who watched last week, know that I have a friend who does custom end scale paint. And those of you also know that I have very, very rudimentary and horrible modeling skills in that regard. Something I just haven't had the time to try to learn, although it's it's on the list. So most of you will know, if you are longtime followers of the channel, that I love MKT, Missouri, Kansas, Texas, who hasn't been around since roughly 1990 as a railroad. It was absorbed by uh, Union Pacific. One of my other favorite railroads, as I move the disgusting workbench pad around, Kansas City Southern. I have family, uh, a great uncle who is no longer with us as of January of this year. Rest in peace, Uncle Boyd. And his son, my, I don't, he's a cousin. He's my dad's cousin, Cousin Mitch, who also worked for Kansas City Southern. May still, for all I know, I haven't seen him in probably eight or nine years. But Kansas City Southern is now technically a fallen flag because they merged with Canadian Pacific. So they are now CPKC, Canadian Pacific Kansas City. And that's their reporting mark. I don't think it's CPKCS. I think it's CPKC. That aside, you'll notice that this is in their, what they call the gray ghost scheme. Most all of their power these days is in Southern Bell, which is, I actually have an example, this very attractive red, yellow, and black scheme. And I really like the gray ghost scheme. I just think it, it looks lean. It looks, you know, like it's there to work. And I've seen a lot of these over the years, even on some slightly newer AC44s, ES44 ACs, things like that. I have seen very few SD70 locomotives in Grey Ghost scheme with the flat side radiators, but I really, really like it. I've always liked the flat radiator SD70s and SD60s because I always thought it looked lean and 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 sleek compared to the ones with the flared radiators. So. I'm rambling, but long story short, sent this unit off to Mario. I will put his info down in the description and said, hey man, I want a Grey Ghost SD70 and he has delivered. I gave him free reign on the number. I just said, find me something that would work as an analog. It didn't even have to be an SD70. It could be like an SD80 or something like that. Um, I just I had a look I was going after and he knew what I wanted and how to get there. I also had him do kind of a kind of a semi flat in this because unlike the Southern Bell, which always looks shiny and beautiful, the Grey Ghost I think looks best when it's kind of toned down and not super shiny. It's clean but it's not polished, more utilitarian, like it's there to work. We'll get you guys in close. We've got our KCS on the front, we've got our shield on the side, 
focus, Kansas City Southern Lines. I was toying with the idea of having him do the black, I call it safety stripes on the vertical ladders here because that's the way Kansas City Southern did them on, on many units. But to try to either mask that and paint or to try to use the decals that try to simulate that were going to be kind of a pain in the butt, so I just told him to not bother with it. You know I'm not one for super 100% prototypical thingies. Isn't that a daisy? Not much going on. Pretty simple. I didn't have him add grabs or anything on this. I just wanted a, a quick spray and decal. Could I have done this myself? Maybe, but for the reasonable prices that Mario charges, I would just rather have a professional do it and have it come out looking right. He did blacken half of the grills. <laughs> Looks like he missed half of them. I'll go over with some weathering powder and get the ones on the side. I didn't even notice that. Error. He blackened these to give them some depth. But he must have ran out of memory. And it looks like our wheel's missing here as well. I wonder if that's in the box. I wonder if it was missing on the model. Because I didn't take this model out. Or did I? Guys, let me know in the comments below if I did a, a, a will it run on this. I don't know. They say memory is the first thing to go. And I, I forget what the next thing was. Anyway, another good-looking unit by my friend Mario. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. Um, I did have him replace with knuckle couplers. Well, I say knuckle couplers. Magnetic uncoupling couplers, because I've never liked the, the Kato ones. Anyway, she's going to go back in the box. I'm going to shoot an email to Mario and find out if he forgot to glue my emergency, or my handbrake wheel back onto this thing. I want to thank you guys for joining me on another like custom showcase video on the Trains with Shane YouTube channel. I will see you guys on the next one. Until then, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.